Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? <laughs> How are we? My name is Fumi De Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed, my darlings. Are we loving the headpiece? Are we loving the hair? Are we loving the dress? The dress is actually an old dress from Zara, Zara Ambassador. I love it. Nice and homey. I actually wore it because it matched my turban. I wore this other turban in another episode and you guys lived and loved it. I'm going to put her Instagram page up. You go to her and you tell her that you saw this fabulous turban on Fumi de Salo Vold, actually on her channel. I live and love her so very much. And today, really, I just wanted, this is how I went out. And when I tell you nine out of 10, I love your turban. I love the color. I love your turban. Where did you get it? And I lived for it. So I said, you know what, Fooms? Why don't you wear it today? The wig, beautiful, long, gorgeous wig. Let me just turn it all the way for you. Is by OPV Beauty. I love it. It's so gorgeous. It's so thick. It's so luxurious. So I thought, why not? So you have OPV Beauty when it comes to hair. They also do lots and lots of makeup. But of course, as you very well know, I'm wearing my Juvia's. I live for Juvia's and Juvia's does lashes. <laughs> All I wear are Juvia's lashes. Very feathery, very fluffy, very natural. I don't like wearing lashes during the day because they can look like a lot. But you know what? Let me just show you because that's the only way I can do it. Huh? There you go. But Juvia's lashes, natural, feathery, fluffy. Really, really love them. That's all I wear. Juvia's Place lashes. Don't forget to use my discount code, Fumi. And then don't forget to go and get your turbans from Adelori. They are very, very, very well done. Let me see if I can just take this from the inside out. Very well done. Very, very well done. I live... For these and when i want to feel fabulous i just throw on my sunglasses just put on a coat then they're like where does she who does she think she is for me to sign a vault <laughs> i'm living and loving okay puff diddy the question has come up many a time talking about is puff diddy gay now as far as i'm concerned i don't really care i do not what i do not really care but i will tell you this in the face of all of these his free coughs, it has let me know one or two things. Now, let's go back. Remember, his free coughs was where he would hire um, entertainers of the evening. Because they are, they entertain, you know. Entertainers of the evening for, uh, for himself and Cassie's free coughs. Basically for him, but Cassie participated willingly or unwillingly she participated and so these entertainers would do all kinds of things for entertainment of which he lived and he loved yeah his um what does he call himself his security also spoke to us very entertaining and he talked about how puffy and him went to a toy shop for some toys uh, plugs for the bottom never heard of it until he said it but apparently if you go to these toy shops there are all kinds of things there and so you know he talked about how they had all these things and he was asking you know puff what do you want what do you need all of these things for and he was like, can you not just step back and let me just enjoy my shopping and enjoy my moment and enjoy my fantasy and freak off and all of that also in this lawsuit man this lawsuit is crazy man she alleges that you know diddy he made her hire and have sex with male prostitutes while he recorded it and masturbated lights camera action <laughs> he, he, he he do it all yo what you gonna say about that bro you understand you know he didn't want it to come back to him in a way you know, he hiring the people, he going to put it all on her because she knew what he liked because she wasn't just hiring it for her. Don't get that effed up, Art. 
If you think that she was just hiring those male prostitutes for herself, nah. Bruh, I was in one of those uh, exotic bookstores with him. I saw this dude pick up butt plugs. And that's the first time I ever seen some shit like that. And when I said, yo, my man, what you getting this for? He said, you know, can I do my shopping by myself? And I said, yeah. And when I looked up there, it said butt plugs. <laughs> I bust out laughing and went to the front door. So you heard the rumors? I knew I used to wait outside a Turkish bath for them. You know what they do in the Turkish baths? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? Okay. That's where a lot of gay men meet. And they all take hot baths together. <laughs> to each his own, though, bruh. But that's a lot of sh that these guys get into when they start having certain meetings with certain people and they meet them at the Turkish bath and they do their meetings and they meet their people in those type of situations where they're comfortable with. So they don't have to worry about uh, their indiscretions coming out. You mean? You understand what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, twice, sometimes, three times a week, me and the driver be outside. He'll run into the Turkish bath. Got that big ass tub at home, but you want to go? <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> was he doing this back then, these freak off sessions when you were security? Because I'm looking at this lawsuit, and that's what they were calling freak off sessions when, you know, Cassie, she would have sex with the male prostitute while he'll masturbate. Bruh, I can't say, because I can't say that. When I used to see him swing, it was always with him, another dude, and two girls. You know what I'm saying? When he was swinging with other people, you know what I'm saying? He always had other girls in the room or another guy in the room, even with his girl, Kim, and he was swinging with her. So that freak off things, but him videotaping and everything like that. No, I can't say that I was privy, privy to that. But you knew what was going on, you know, uh, just when... Just in the instant when people got it confused when I said uh, when he was in the room with Sarah and her girlfriend and he had Ja Rule and him in the room. Yo, I didn't know they was doing anything freaky until Ja came out and said, yo, y'all didn't want to be in there because there's a lot of freaky things going on. So... I guess that was one of those freak off sections. <laughs> but other than that, I couldn't say anything. And you knew and Diddy. And at one point, you and him was real cool. Do you believe everything she's saying about these freak off sessions? Listen, that girl went through some tumultual shit that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've I've been next to 
people who are top in the game, in the music business. And they had said to me, yo, I had to suck a lot of to get to this position. You understand? They have said that. So I can imagine what that little girl went through with old boy. She ain't lying that thing because if she would have lied, he would have fought her tooth and nail. He would have fought her tooth and nail, bruh. Don't get it messed up, Art. He would have fought her tooth and nail. That little girl ain't lied nothing that. She ain't lied about none of that. Do you know what she's going through? She you know what she's going to go through for the rest of her life? Her kids going to go back and see this on the internet? Right, right. And she also said in this lawsuit, man, that, you know, Diddy, he, you know, he came off as a mentor. But later down the line, he became too controlling. My position on him, he was never a father figure, bro. You understand? He was a groomer. He was a, he was, a, he was, he was an addict. He was somebody that was a, what you, what you call those? I, I, I've lost all of my terminologies <laughs> that when I was working as a, uh, a BCW or a child abuse worker, but he was an individual that preyed on this young girl using her dreams, her talent, holding it hostage for his own benefit. He groomed her. He wasn't no father. He was no father figure to her, bruh. The question now bids, is Diddy gay? I think he's very gender fluid because when it comes to having freak offs, everybody, myself included, we all have that titillating uh, fantasy sensation that gets us off. Let's be honest. Yeah, this is adult TV here. So you, you, we all have our fantasies. It's just that our fantasies are not hyped or as extreme or carried out like Mr. Diddy over there. P. Diddy, like I like to call him, since himself and uh, young Miami like to do all kinds of showers. You? Anyway, it occurred to me that... When you want to live out these fantasies, it has nothing to do with gender. There is no way these entertainers came for the night and Diddy did not partake in the party. He wasn't only a voyeur, he also participated. I feel that in my bones, let's just say allegedly, that he took part also in these, you know, freak offs. It wasn't just for him just to look and just get off. No, he participated. And the way I'm looking at it, and I don't know whether Cassie will ever get into all of that, I don't really think that he had any, any love for Cassie ever. And I don't think he really slept with Cassie. For sure, he never made love with Cassie. And if he slept with her, it was during these freak offs. Of which, allegedly, they slept with him too. I was thinking about it. And I said, I have a funny feeling that's how this puppy went down. And trust and believe another thing. That you see these free calls, the participants, as much as they paid them, when it comes to NDAs, of which I know they signed... I am absolutely certain that now that where there has been, it's, it's coming out in distaste. And NDAs are not privy to when it becomes charges of which, uh, and lawsuits of which 
Diddy settled very quickly. Diddy settled very quickly. He had no choice to settle very quickly because the companies were prepared to pay her out in order for them to flute above all of this mess of which Puffy had brought to the door. It's one thing to create a company of which I am also doing. I create this fabulous company and you guys get all of the bras, the panties, the lingerie, the shapewear, the, the nightwear, everything that you can imagine of exquisite luxury and fantasy of which I'm prepared to give you. I'm still going to have a team under me, beside me, who will be covering different departments and divisions of the company. If there comes a time when I become a threat to this company, they're going to chuck me out. Quite as it's kept, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. The company, the brand has to survive and should without you, regardless of you creating it. And so, I do believe that when it comes to Puffy's sexuality, he's gender fluid. He's not heterosexual, allegedly. Let me just say that. He's gender fluid, allegedly. I believe that he's gender fluid, allegedly. I don't believe for all of the things that went on there, that he just sat and watched and did not partake in any of it. That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. I am, I am very proud, very, 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 very proud of Alex Fine. You're a husband of husbands, you're a father of fathers, and a lot of credit and salute should be given to you because you supported this. I know you're, that you were in the back. You put Cassie in front, but Cassie was supported by you. Good on you for bringing justice to light, for disinfecting it, because you did, you just, psh, psh. and all of a sudden, all of the disgust is really in the direction of the Puffy's party. Nothing is tinted onto Cassie. And a big part, I know, I feel it, is because of the gentleman and the integrity of the man that you are that God Almighty sent to come and save Cassie because oh I want to cry nobody was there to do it for Kim Porter I always remember the victims the victims We don't know what happened to Kim. But we do know that she's no longer here. And she had four children. And you have to think of the children all the time. Of which, I don't know how Puffy did not think of his children. Did not think of the four girls. Did not think of baby love did not think that one day would be the day when all of this would come to an end. It's very frightening to think that this went on for decades, not years, decades. And so he really thought he could get away with all of this. It's unbelievable. It's so mind blowing. It's so wild. And it's a situation where it's like slavery. It's like, it's, it's, it's so demeaning. You beat up on them. You abuse them. You sexually assault them. Ah, wow. He deserves everything coming to him. He does not belong in society. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, Hit the notification button, my darlings, and I will see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love, my darlings. Stay safe. This city has a special morning voice. Speaks to me through an open window. 
masquerading as noise Ten million people waking up and Somehow I'm the lucky guy Who gets to make you a coffee cup Oh